here we are going to evaluate this limit and as we can see this is the limit of a summation yes this is an example of a Riemann sum so the idea is that this represents an area so we will just have to figure out what that region is and then we can integrate it and then find the answer here's the deal we see that we have i to the fourth and this is n to the fifth if we factor out n to the first on the bottom they will have the same power and we'll know that the function is x to the fourth and it's very convenient right here if we factor out n to the first we will have the same power right here as well so let's go ahead and just get to work here we have the limit as n goes to infinity and then usually let's just put the 1 over n that all the way at the front of the summation so that's what we have and then here we will just have the sum as i goes from 1 to n and now this right here it will just be n to the fourth and i'm just going to write that as i over n to the fourth and then likewise here i will just put it as i over n and uh, that will be to the first power so what does this mean well we have x to the fourth power plus x all right so that's the function and then we can see that the interval is just going from 0 to 1 yep so this right here we can go ahead and convert that into the summation going from sorry the integral going from 0 to 1 and this is x to the fourth and then plus x to the first and then don't forget the dx all right and then of course we can just now integrate it thanks to the fundamental theorem of calculus part 2 we are going to add 1 to this and divide it by the new power so we get 1 over 5 and then x to the fifth power and then do the same thing here add 1 to the power which will get 2 divide it by that so we get 1 over 2 x to the second power and then we are going to just plug in plug in 0 and 1 putting 1 first and then putting 0 so we will get 1 over 5 and then 1 to the fifth power and then plus 1 over 2 and then 1 and then we have the square this is the first term and then minus plugging 0 I know it's all going to be 0 but I will still set it up for you guys just to have a good habit especially sometimes when you plug in 0 you may end up with some number oh, it's a good habit alright so this is indeed equal to 0 and now we just have to add the fractions 1 over 5 plus 1 over 2 all together you will just get 2 over no sorry 7 right 7 over 10 yeah uh just for fun you guys want to see the butterfly way or the tiktok way to add fractions just for fun yeah 1 over 5 plus 1 over 2 ready we are going to multiply this and that which is 2 multiply this and that which is 5 on the top we add so we get 7 on the bottom we multiply so we get 10 done but of course add fractions whichever we want right so that's it 